anatomic terms, while they seem daunting to people who first hear them, they really have been uh, generated from uh, the ancient Greek and Latins, and the uh, terminology is everyday things, like uh, the retinoid cartilage of the uh, larynx. Retinoid means cup, because it looks like a cup with a handle. And so all of the terms uh, in general have a rather simple meaning. And uh, good anatomy books, uh, this happens to be one, um, uh, we'll, we'll discuss some of those terms uh, as they're presented in the book. Uh, another thing that uh, uh, people who are interested in the anatomic terms have to realize that in the beginning, uh, as many as 50,000 terms were uh, in, in use by anatomists and, uh, around the world, and it was impossible for them to communicate with each other. Uh, the, the names were so uh, diversified that uh, they had great trouble in communicating when they were talking about a particular structure. And so a group of anatomists got together, probably the greatest collection of anatomists got together in the early, uh, late uh, 1800s, and formed an international committee on nomenclature. And uh, uh, the nomenclature was whittled down to about uh, 22 or 23,000 terms, and, uh, uh, and uh, all this, and this uh, international committee uh, were able to agree that, that that would be the way they would communicate. Several publications have come from this meet, these meetings, uh, international nomenclature meetings, uh, and they produce a, a booklet uh, that's available called Nomina Anatomica, so that when one writes a scientific paper, paper about a particular structure, uh, it is expected that you'll use the international nomenclature. And when uh, 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 you're writing for uh, your own national consumption, you could use uh, words that are uh, in the vernacular. So uh, uh, we have two sets of terms. One, the official Latin or Greek term. And the uh, second would be the term that is used locally. 